Hey everybody, welcome to the latest episode of The Rock Expanse with Mike Brunn. On this episode, we're going to talk about the newest announcement that this year's KISS Cruise, KISS Cruise 11, will be the last time that KISS performs on the high seas on their KISS Cruise. We'll also talk about what we think that means for the end of the road tour and whether or not KISS will be playing any one-off type shows after the tour is officially over. There's lots to cover in this, a lot of fun talking about this, although it is kind of sad to think about KISS coming to an end, but why don't we jump in and let's get started. Everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of The Rock Experience with Mike Brunn. Today I have back with me my buddy, my partner in crime, the chemist, Mr. Vincent LaRusa. How you doing, Thank buddy? Thank you. I no, wanted I just to real- keep your head tilted <laughs> to the side. <laughs> no, yeah. I just realized you start off the show with a single, Ringo. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, so the start is a that. single and the end is the double, Ringo. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, yeah, 100, well, I, 171 episodes in it took to recognize that. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. How yeah. are things going, buddy? Good. Everything's going very well. Thank you for asking. Yes, I'm happy to hear that. Very, very happy to hear that. I'm uh, looking forward to, I'm heading out to the Florida shore later in a couple of days, I guess. And uh, we'll okay. be enjoying some sun and beach and relaxation. Good but for I you. figured before we do that, it was a good opportunity to maybe talk about the news that came out here and that being that uh kiss announced yesterday that this is going to be the last cruise that they perform on which i think uh kind of made some people recognize wow holy crap this is really coming to an end so what what did you think about that announcement yesterday well you said that it said because the exact verbiage is as all as the cat man the demon yes. the yep. space, right so they specifically <laughs> they said, said it was the so, last time the cat man demon spaceman and star child would perform on board together right. together which obviously mm-hmm. leaves open the door <laughs> leaves <laughs> open the door for um if they do one of these cruises in the future and gene is just on board or paul or maybe vinnie vincent right or if gene's on the ball but... <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, no idea what you're referring to. No. Unless, although there is pictures of Gina sitting on a toilet bowl. Uh, if you're a diehard Kiss fan, some people may get that reference. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. But no, you're right. Mm-hmm. They, they did mention that it would be the last time they all performed together. Um, but yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, my thoughts are, I think, with the thoughts that you have, like the reality of this truly coming to an end, it's mm-hmm. kind of. It's a little bit sad, I would say, you know, it's, um, you know, sometimes we want, we don't want to face reality in life. And these are one of these things, I think, yeah. that our musical heroes are definitely putting a, a bow <laughs> on this. I don't know if it's a bow bridges or a bow. I don't know what's <laughs> a, bow bice. Bow. Bow bice. a bow bice. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Go yeah, American yeah. Idol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going American Idol on me on that one. Is that where, yeah, that's right. That's where he's from. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's good i know the name but not where i know it from going already way off the rails way off topic. <laughs> um but yeah that that um but the reality is that our musical <laughs> heroes i'm laughing because he's over off the rails and now i'm like i got ozzy in my head <laughs> seeing crazy <Yeah>. train <laughs> going off the rails yeah. anyway insert sorry. insert music that's what we're gonna start doing insert, insert yes. music that's right um yeah so that's how I feel. It's, uh, you know, we, we're, we, have, we, have, we have to face the reality of yeah. um, 
what they've been saying all along, end of the road tour. End of the road tour, end of the road is end of the road. So I guess whether it be Kiss Cruises or concerts, you know, as I think as we've all said, or if you said many times, you know, they're in their 70s now to put on all that, the makeup and the costumes, you know, it gets to a certain point where it's going to, I think it might probably seem a little silly, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't imagine in their 80s, you know? Yeah. You, you know, at 70s, you start thinking, well, you know, but they all look, you know, great for their, and some of them are a bit younger, like uh, Tommy and, and um, but not by much. I think they're both even in their mid-60s, right? Right. Uh, yeah, Eric's 62, I think now, 60. Oh, is he? 63 right well think about when we went to Indy that time what was it 2018 he mm-hmm. just turned 60s at that at that convention so he must be what close to 64 now holy crap yeah god damn. 63 63 63 right I think it'll be 64 I guess in May yeah so okay. I was about right with what I said yeah um, yeah and Tommy's you know, 61 so right, which is yeah. amazing the guy has more yeah. hair than I ever did god damn yeah. <laughs> anyway. that's insert picture on that one that's yeah, really. not necessarily true <laughs> Oh, that's you know, true. That's you true. were fame. I... You were fame to look like Mark Storacci as, as I now he's known as. I we always thought when we were kids he was Mark Storis. That's right. Mark Crocus. Storacci. <laughs> that's right. And Crocus. That's right. That was my hairdo in the '80s. But um, it's funny as you were talking, you made me think of something I had never thought of before we started this chat right now, and you rightly pointed out to me that the message says the last performance together of the Star Child, Demon, Spaceman, Catman together. And we said, you and I, because we did speak briefly when this announcement came out, uh, well, I could see Gene maybe being on the boat with his band, but could, what do you think? Could there be a scenario where Paul, Gene, Tommy, and Eric perform together, not in makeup, and therefore not being Star Child, Demon, Catman, and Spaceman? Well, that's a very good point. because I never thought of that were... before. I know yeah, now yeah. we're splitting hairs on this, but you know. I guess it's yeah. possible because they did also confirm didn't they i think you told me that there will be more cruises kiss cruises they yes. didn't say it's the last kiss cruise no they, in fact they were very adamant that it's not the last kiss cruise right. that it will go on it's just that the four the four of them won't perform together again so does this bring up the question of by november of 2023 kiss is going to be done touring <clears throat> that's interesting because yeah, because think about that. That only makes logical sense because if they're still touring, then why are they not playing on the cruise? Right, right. Well, makeup. when I interviewed Doc back in November, he had said that they were going to do about twenty-five shows in North America. They still had to do Europe. They still had to do Australia, and then they were going to do Vegas, and that was it. Those four things. Now the Australia dates got pushed out to August. Right, they were supposed to be in March. They got pushed out to August, so it's still going to be this year. The European dates, I haven't heard anything one way or another. I'm not going to be shocked if they get canceled or postponed again. Um, The North America dates are still going on, as far as we know, starting in May. But the point being, there wasn't a lot of shows already. So could it be that they do the cruise and then right after the cruise is the last, I'll call it batch of shows, whatever that batch may be? I think so. I think that's going to, I mean, Doc was adamant that they're not going past 2022 which would mean that the cruise is going to be mm. the very tail end. Um, I, there's which no is, way that's going to be the last show. They can't do a last show on the cruise. No, 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 no. However, you know, there was always said that they would do the last show. Or, well, we, well, wait a second. When they announced their last show when we were on the cruise, they did say where at that time. They just had the date, right? They just had the date. Doc did mention that it was going to be, um, what did he say, City Field, I think it was? Um, City Field, yeah. originally, they thought it maybe Central Park. But, so, but my right. point being is that New York in November, you're not doing any outdoor shows, right? No. right? So if they're not going past 2022, where are they right. doing that last show other than if it's going to be New York, the Garden? Right. Well, when, when Doc spoke with me, he said, oh, you know, well, you know, the last show has to be New York. And when it's not the summer, where could you play? He's like, you could play the garden. And then his voice trailed off like, like he had nothing else to offer. Yeah. So even though, even though Kiss has said that the show they did in March of 2019 was going to be the last show at the garden, the one where you were, what, second row for that show? Yeah. Right? So, yeah. um, and they said they weren't going to repeat any locations. I think they're going to repeat the garden. I really do. Yeah. yeah. But um, Man, what's that ticket going to go for? <sighs> God only knows. And, you know, one of the things they did say a couple of years ago when you were on the cruise in, what was it, 2018, that those people on the cruise would get first shot for tickets. 2018. Was that really 2018? I think that was, oh, maybe it was 2019. 
Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say, it was 2019. How did those... <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it was 2019, right? So, so in yeah. 2019, they said that those people on the cruise would get the first shot for tickets to the final show. It'll be interesting to see if they honor that 2019 offer or if they now try to tie it in with this cruise. And I think they'll try to yeah. tie it in with this cruise. Yeah. If there's yeah. even an offer, you know, I'm, I'm filing my complaint as we speak. I think you should. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should. Cause I don't think I'm going to be included. And I was on that cruise. Yeah. Isn't that a shame? <laughs> yeah. But um, no, no, it's like you said, I think the reality when I saw that, I mean, when I spoke with doc in November, the reality hit me. And I told you I was going over the list of concerts I plan on going to this summer. And I plan on going to see Kiss again in May because I, like I said to my wife, I said, I could probably now count on one hand the amount of time that I'm going to get to see them again. And I truly, truly, truly believe that. So um, I don't. You don't. Wow. Not, not with you. Well, if they're only doing 25 shows in North America and a cruise, uh, what do you think? I'm going to start flying to Europe and travel around Europe the whole summer to see them? I do. I really do. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I can tell you, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'll end up divorced if I try to do that. And rightly sure. so, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, no, that, that won't happen. I do know some people that are planning European summer vacations around like, well, Kiss will be in Italy. We'll go to Italy at this time, go see Kiss during that time. So that I think is cool. But no, I'm not following them around Europe. 100% not. So what I'm thinking is just whether it be by chance, cost, or just availability of the prospect of maybe I've seen them for the last time. Wow. Because I don't have plans, because I don't plans on I don't have plans on going on the cruise. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And depending on how the how I mean, we went to a gig, um, a show, what was it in Connecticut or was that Massachusetts last year? Where was that? Massachusetts. Was that Massachusetts. Right. Yep. I mean, unless it's like a local kind of local, you know, mm -hmm. tri that's not even tri-state area, but a little bit further out. So um, so if I call you, because I don't have a ticket for it yet, if I call you late April, early May, and I say, hey, I'm going to Hartford to see the KISS show, it's a Saturday. Hmm. Now, I know you might be playing a gig or something like that that prevents you, but if there's not anything blocking you, do you say yes? Like, should I place yeah, I that call? Point. Should I send that text message? Yeah, at this point, because, okay. you know, it's, it's well, again, for what I just said, you know, there may be that last show at the garden and it may be a $3,000 seat, you know? Right. Yep. Now, which, which, which ask the question, are you playing three grand to see Kiss the last show? I, uh, look, yeah. at the, look, at the, look at the struggle. <laughs> yeah. Look at the struggle. Because I, I want to start off by saying no, you know, <laughs> there's no freaking way. I've well, seen them, you know. But then I'm like, damn, the last show. And if I knew Ace was going to be there and if Bruce is going to be there, if Peter's going to be there, I'm like, ah, right, what do we selling? really think? Let, let do me we see. really think? Maybe, maybe I could sell this boot and I could sell this boot. You know? So um, hey, what, what are those boots you got there? Hold on a second. Bring that back in. What is it? This, this is, is that? Sign. It's hard to see because the signature. Are, are, are you bringing that to Florida to wear on the Yeah, on these the are beach? my shoes I'm packing. Yeah, I'm packing my shoes. Yeah. Uh, it's a sign days freely that, boot. That, imagine that visual you in a Speedo and just those boots. <laughs> it's kind of visual that people want to see. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, point being, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Will I need to maybe start selling off some things to, to go to that show for three thousand dollars? I might. Yeah, I might. And I'm just saying three thousand, like like of I course. know, but you uh, listen, the number it was, randomly. It's it was a thousand dollars in 2019. Whenever I paid, you know, what? Right. Well, actually, a thousand was front row. I think the difference between me being one foot further right. was like eight fifty and ten fifty, whatever. Right. Um, yep. You know, so so I got to figure if that's what the pricing was then. You know, it being the last show, you know, they're going to, you know, try to maximize that, yep. whether it be through third party or whatever, you know, but um, that'd be tough. Three thousand dollars for me to spend on. Uh, and I'm not saying it's not worth it. So for anybody no. else saying, oh, you know, I'm just saying, you know. So now let me ask you this question. The cruise, you can get on the cruise if you're sharing a cabin with somebody for like fifteen hundred a person. If they say that being on the cruise this year will guarantee that you can get a ticket to the final show. Now yeah. you're spending only 1500, not spending the 3000 made up number that you just made up, right? You're spending 1500, you're getting a vacation, a cruise and a guaranteed face value ticket for the last show. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be very tempting. That's all I could say. Yeah. Even if you buy a spot for the cruise and them go, <laughs> that might right. be, that might be financially beneficial. Right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Splitting the sure. cabin with three other people, I think you could get for less than a thousand dollars. Guaranteed ticket. That might be better than having a scalp one. Yeah, you're right. Did I just convince you to go on this it's, year's Kiss Cruise? <laughs> yeah, you may have. You know, it's 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 so funny. Uh, you know, I wasn't really thinking about it, but uh, you know, this whole conversation just doesn't make me want to think about that moment mm-hmm. in time when they say goodnight and they leave the stage. I can't right. even. Without getting probably emotional on the on the air here, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine the impact that's going to have. Yeah. Certainly more in person if I was witnessed it. You know, if you just heard about the event and you know that night it's it, it's obviously going to be easier to take because you don't visually see it and hear it. But I, mm-hmm. you know, this is something. I mean, think about it for myself, and I think for yourself too, because I know you very well. We've never had to deal. You deal with certain things in your life, losses, mm-hmm. family, those like. Yeah. But you know, this is something on a musical level, like I've had some of my musical heroes who have passed, but not the end of a, of a, of an era of a band that just, I mean, I can't think of one, you know, I I mean, that's had this kind of impact on my life. The Beatles obviously had a huge impact on my life, but they were, they were broken up when I was born. You know what I mean? Exactly. I got to pass on that one. Right. But, and it's not like they ever said, Hey, this is our final performance. We're selling tickets. That There was no big right. event like the that, roof, you know? the rooftop there was, but the rooftop, we, they didn't know. I mean, right, maybe exactly. they or whatever, but, right. as we, uh, but they weren't know, selling history. tickets to that. So it's not like you could no, show no, up. No, and, and, you know. no. this is going to be, this is going to be, this is going to be rough. It's certainly going to be rough. And it certainly plays into what we're talking about as far as making some decisions here on you know, like as we joked around so many times and you've thrown thrown it out there that I missed that last Creed, Peter Christ um, show. Yep. You know, I have regrets about that. And that's at a much lower, smaller level yep. um, than this. You know, I don't kind of want to live with that regret again. And, mm-hmm. But then again, I did say, remember, and this really had nothing to do, I don't think, with final show. That when I saw them at the guard at that time, being so close that I was basically good for life. I'll never yep, have that moment again, that. Yep. you know, but the last show was the last show right. period. end. you know, well, I will say this, even if it's the very worst seat in the house. I'm still going, you know, as long as the price isn't reasonable. So right. that's not going to matter, you know, to me, if right. I'm in the building at that time and you say, Ben, listen, we can get, for 500 bucks. I know it's not a great seat, right. but we'll be there. I'm there. There's no, there's no if fans. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to see them. You right. know, whatever. <laughs> Agreed. That doesn't matter. What if I don't it's care about the stage? that. I don't care. Okay. I agree. I don't care. I agree. Yeah. If that's what it takes to care. be in the building, because I don't care. Because at that point, I'm breaking the rules in that arena. I'm, I'm walking around and doing something. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, at the moment they're leaving the stage, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be walking around trying to get a better view in Agreed. the aisles. And if Agreed. security comes out, they're like, ding! Exactly. <laughs> right, they come so. with a flashlight, yeah. smack it out of their hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, well, you know, I'll say this. I think one of the things to me that became a little bit eye opening with this announcement also was a lot of fans, myself included, made an assumption that when the end of the road tour ended, Kiss would still continue to do cruises, performing on them. They would probably do Vegas residencies, performing there. So it really wasn't going to be the final show. Now, I don't know, maybe the pandemic and extending this out for a couple of years changed those plans. But I'm starting to truly think in my heart that, hey, the final show at the end of the road tour pretty much is going to be the final show, I think, now. I think what's interesting with this whole thing, and this has nothing to do with the cruise um, or the final show, is we know that Paul will go on and do his Soul Station stuff, right? Yes. What's, yep. What is Gene going to do? You know, that's what, that's what I'm curious. I hope like, Gene goes back to doing some solo shows. I mean, because I will say this. I I saw seven solo shows that he did. And those are some of the best Kiss-related concerts I've ever seen in my life. So I will yeah, I gladly agree. do that again. Gladly. In fact, I prefer that over Kiss at this point. Well, I'm almost hoping that he does some, more, you know, more than that. And, and maybe do what Paul does. I'm not saying he's going to put out, you know, a country Western record. Right. Or, also, <laughs> or, or he's going to be a crooner. He's going to be like Michael Bublé. But um, <laughs> that'd be interesting. Uh, Gene Simmons is Michael Bublé. You know? Yeah, that would be very interesting. <laughs> you know, doing Strangers in the Night. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe maybe he'll do like duets with people. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, who knows? Gene Simmons and Celine Dion sing. <laughs> Yeah, Gene Simmons and Lionel Richie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, I, mean, I, I hope that they. I mean, my main focus obviously is on the two core original guys. You know, of right. course, I think 
Eric Singer could land a gig with, and he probably will. I mean, listen, he he's drummed with many different big artists in the past, so he'd well, be let me foolish ask you this. not he was to do 84. that. By the time this is all done, he's going to be 64 going on 65. Will he want to? I don't know. He just seems like a very youthful 64. He then. does. So no, Tommy's, no, I agree. You know, so, I agree, but you know, it, maybe you don't want to keep touring the world or whatever. I have to maybe. assume he has a decent amount in the bank from the last 20 years. I'm assuming that. At 65, that's your time age. I could tell you, though, music and musicians, when it's in your DNA, it's hard to just kind of hang up the cleats, as yep. you know, they would say, you know, drummers have it a little harder because of the physicality of it, but he's obviously in great shape. Um, and, you know, listen, he'll be doing he'll be involved with Paul. He's at Paul's soul station, right? Exactly. Yeah. So he's got that. So even at the very least, I think he'll still be doing that. Tommy, again, I don't know. Um, you know, he's obviously done a lot of things out of Kiss. Well, actually in Kiss, with mm-hmm. Kiss, you know, and doing production stuff. And he was their tour manager. And, yep. you know, the guy's a very talented guy. And um, and I'm sure they've thought about this stuff. Uh, well, here's my guess. I would think Tommy is going to continue running the business aspect of Kiss behind the scenes, right? Whether it's DVDs, or I know DVDs really aren't a thing, but whatever, Blu-rays or whatever uh, it is, you know, yeah, those kind of media things. content, media, media stuff. Con- yeah, exactly. I think that will be Tommy's yeah. thing. And could Eric be a studio drummer if he doesn't want to tour you know hey tony i always doing a solo album needs well, a drummer for a couple of songs yeah i mean that's true and with tommy too there's still that offer on the docks so he could also you know i mean i know he used to work <laughs> that, on the that's docks if gina, but he, if gina comes around <laughs> yeah 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 uh, i mean i think the uh, union i think they finally settled that strike the, did they like, finally settle the strike yeah, okay so that's I good think, you know, so. uh, <laughs> I tried to deliver that with a straight face, you know. Was I, tried, I said, "Do not crack a smile on this one." But that was good, and, and I got the reference instantly. Yeah, and, so, and, you know, uh, it's good because they did. Tommy and Gina never did back down, so that was good. I'm glad to hear that. That is true. Back. That's yeah. true. <laughs> so now, anyway. I was going to say, I was just going on a Bon Jovi thing. Like, <laughs> because didn't they make an appearance again on an, on the New Jersey album? No, that that they made an appearance in the song "It's My Life." That that's what I was referencing to Tommy and Gene oh, okay. who never backed down. <laughs> All right, okay. So that's right. That, that right. one went right yeah. over your head. So that means it probably went over eighty percent of people. No, stuff. you know, you know, no, no. Well, I get, I did get the music because I knew I I know the lyric, but I just right. didn't connect it with that album. Didn't connect but, the right album. Yeah. That's fine. Fair All right. enough. Back on the tracks. Back yeah, on the I'm tracks. Sorry. That's right. Yeah. So um. But now, I mean, my mind is all over the place. So, of course, on one hand, I say, yeah, I do think the final show at the end of the road tour is really going to be the final show. But then I'm like, ah, but did they word that as Spaceman, Demon, because they're going to play without makeup on future cruises? I really don't think so. I think some of them may appear on the cruise in different capacities, but I think the four of them with makeup or without makeup will not be performing on the cruise anymore after this year. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And it's funny because, and you know this, I had said last year, Kiss Cruise 10 for me was a f- perfect bookmark to my Kiss Cruise career. My first one I went on, me, my wife, my two or kids. Or bookend? Or is that a bookend? bookend? Yeah, right. bookend. What did I say? Bookmark? Yeah. No, it's definitely not yeah. a bookmark. It's a bookend. Yeah, it's like, yes. It could be a bookmark. You could, <laughs> could bookmark, be a bookmark it. A bookmark. Yeah. No, yeah, it's a bookend. Yeah. No, you're perfect yeah. bookends. You're right. Yeah. Um, the first one I went on, my wife, my two kids, my last one last year, my wife, my two kids. Um, I was like, that's perfect. It's a nice way to end it. I feel happy. I feel satisfied. And then this announcement I wasn't convinced. Came out. <laughs> I wasn't convinced. I know you aren't. There's then no this, way. Because they had already came. announced at that. Didn't they had already announced uh, during the cruise that they were having another? Didn't you yes, know they that? Did. Going? They did. Yes. So but I was, they... like, I was like, okay, you know, they'll probably continue doing cruises hey. after the end of the Rose Tour. Hey. Road Tour, not Rose. <laughs> after the end of the Road Tour. The, yeah, whatever. The every Rose has a thorn tour. Every Rose has a thorn tour. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss from a rose. <laughs> yeah, kiss from a rose. <laughs> um, so I was like, yeah, whatever. Maybe I'll go again in three years or something like that, you know, and that'll be a way for me to kind of see them when they're not touring anymore. But now I'm like, oh, God damn. My booking day is February 28th. I got a week or so to figure this out. What do I, I know do? Where my, I know where my betting money's going. I can guarantee <laughs> you this one. Oh, guarantee man. you. Guarantee it, huh? I don't even know why this is in discussion. Wow. Okay. So you think I should just edit this out to not embarrass myself? I do. Okay. <laughs> I do. Uh, we will see. I didn't even speak about it with the family. I actually found out about it because my daughter texted me. She saw it being posted before I did. I was working. So I didn't even mention it with my wife last night. I figure while we're on vacation, I'll talk about it. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, I tend to think it's somehow I'm going to end up on this boat because even if, like I said, if it means a guaranteed ticket to that last show, 
<laughs> You're going. Every time, every time I think You're I'm going. out, I'm out. They pull me back pull me in. Back in. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Every um, time I, th- every time you say you're out, I laugh. <laughs> exactly. That's I a new laugh. saying. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's the expression yeah. for the rock and roll experience, right? Or the rock experience. Just it's like, a- just like when you tell me, no, I'm not going to be able to make that show. I got a business trip, and they just so <laughs> happen to be in the state of the country that you're in. <laughs> Gee, they're playing in California. Oh, mm. I'm in Chile. Wow, I can't believe. <laughs> I believe oh, kisses there. How did this happen? That is very funny. Um, and I, I mean, I'm joking about it, but that seriously happened like two or three times in your life, it happened right? Happened to me twice. Twice I was in California on a business trip, and twice Kiss was in California. Did it happen time. when you were in another country? No. Nah. Oh yeah, uh, you know, almost, almost. Oh, okay, uh, where okay. was I? Um, Switzerland, I think I was. Yeah. And my original travel dates was supposed to be the same time Kiss was there, and then they changed the trip to like a week later. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Damn yeah. it! That would be cool. It would. I would love to see them in another country, you know. Yeah. So just to kind of get that experience, and yeah, my original business trip was lined up with the dates that they were going to be there. But oh well. Yeah. That is what it is. So let me ask you this question, because a lot of fans have had reactions to this. Going forward, Kiss cruises without Kiss on it. What do you think of that? <laughs> For those who are listening and not watching, <laughs> that was a slow, but rather big thumb down. <laughs> now I will. I'll, I'll predicate it with this. Let me see your thumb. Let me see your thumb. <laughs> that um, I mean, it would have to be like a like a all star lineup. Like again, I think you we we briefly talked about this. If I don't know, Poison and uh, Rad and you know some of those. You know, like Tom Kiefer, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It was like a, st- you know, and it's, <clears throat> it's kind of like, um, excuse me, the Monsters of Rock Cruise. We see the lineups that they have, which, right. you know, that just ended a couple of days ago, actually. Yep. And I was seeing a friend of mine went to see it, and he was, and I spoke to him earlier today. He said it was incredible. You know, so it would have to depend on the lineup. I would say. But I would say this because I agree with you. That's the you know they'd have to have a killer lineup. Um, they can never top what Monsters of Rock Cruise does, though, in terms of no. lineup. I mean, that those lineups no. for those cruises are incredible. There's like 40, 50 bands, one after that. I would be freaking exhausted on that cruise. Oh, my God. So many great bands. But how do you call it a Kiss Cruise if Kiss isn't there? It just seems, like, <laughs> it seems a bit weird. I mean, unless you, what, are you going to put all Kiss's, you know, pictures and have some memorabilia to make it like, like and, and I mean, you can say, bands. well, yeah, yeah, yeah right. Well, you could say it's a kiss convention and kiss isn't there, you know, right. when they have kiss conventions, but right. I just, it just, I mean, is there anything else out there in its kind where they call it a Eagles cruise and the Eagles aren't there or whoever, you know what I mean? I don't know. Does that well, even exist? Well, you can make a case that the Eagles aren't really there, but that's, you know, another thing altogether. True. Right. But I, no, no, but right. I get your point. I get your point hundred percent. That was just a little wise remark I'm making. Um, no, I just yeah. noticed something. Did you start hanging some lanyards on the uh, the, the Tommy Thayer list pole? Was that always like that? Uh, yeah, I did that about three years ago. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I am, yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, you know why it is? No, 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 no. The yeah. angle is usually different. Yes. I usually yes. don't have the, the headstock, yes. right? Because it's more towards the other. You, you are know. correct. Yes, you are correct. All right. All right. Angle's a little bit different today. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. So but before no. I go, I go check my medicine to see like if I'm really going crazy or not. Yeah. Those are all my lanyards I've collected over the years from like the one I can see right over here, Gene Simmons, Virgin, Megastore, Times Square, February 8th, 2002. Yeah. So I was, was going to say Gene Simmons, signs. Virgin, somehow that, but then <laughs> yeah, you said Virgin, Megastore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, uh, but it's yeah. a book, a book sign in back in 2002. So it's all the different lanyards like that I've had. And what do we talk about? I mean, I know we're going a little off topic. The, the, the Kiss... Um, what is that up in the by the headstock? It looks like a is that a, a so hand, that is painting? What is that? Yeah, so that is not this Christmas, not Christmas of 2021, but Christmas of 2020. My niece hand painted that. She was at the time 14 years old and mm. obviously knew I was into kiss and painted the whole thing, you know, drew it out herself by hand and then just painted it herself. On wood? Uh, it's like on a canvas. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I nice. think she did a really good job with that. Yeah. So, uh, nice little keepsake. So, make sure, you, make sure you don't give that away. Sell it, then want it back twenty no, years from now. No, no, no. Those guys. I'm looking stay. for something my niece did. A hundred percent. That will stay with me forever. Yeah. That that'll go in the, in the uh, 
in the tomb with me. So no, really, no you already yeah. decided what's going in your tomb. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> No, I don't know. I'm just saying that'll stay with me till death. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I didn't know you were getting a tomb. Yeah. Can I come? No, you can't. <laughs> wow. All that years of friendship, we can't share a tomb? No, you can't. No. I want one of those like the, the big houses that they have. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I just, exactly. I just, yeah. have a, I just have a bench or a chair there. I don't know. I just, all right. just hang I'll give, there, I'll give yeah. it a bench. I'll give it a all bench. Right, all right. Yes. Give me the key access code to the room. Okay. Yeah, you got yeah. it. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah. Now that we've gone into morbid territories. That's right. That's right. So yeah. yeah, so that's what that is hanging back there. But um, God, I don't even remember what we were actually talking about at this point. But um, yeah, so I don't see me going on a kiss cruise without kiss ever. I mean, I was talking about bailing permanently to begin with. So um, but I get, I have to say this, I get what the draw could be for some people, right? And there are some people on the cruise where Yes, they're KISS fans, but they love getting together with their friends from overseas or their friends from across the country that they don't get to see except for once a year on the boat. I get that, but the price better be much lower than it is right now. And I don't know. I saw some of my Facebook friends yesterday were commenting what a huge money grab this is feeling like. So why? I, I, look, I... To me, as a KISS fan, when is something not a money grab? You know, I hate to say it, mm -hmm. but, you know, everything with KISS is a money grab, so... This is no different. Um, I just don't know that I see it being successful without Kiss, uh, Kiss Cruise without Kiss. But, you know, and this, we briefly spoke about this yesterday, you and I. If they have Bruce Kulick doing three shows on there and they have Ace Frehley doing two shows and Gene Simmons and his solo band is on there, yeah, Kiss is not performing. But if you get two or three Gene Simmons shows, two or three Bruce Kulick shows, two or three Ace Frehley shows over a five-day period, you're getting eight, nine concerts. Yeah, I can see that being a draw. Yeah. I can see that being a draw. Yeah. So Gene promising to do deep cuts and different shows every night. In some ways, it might, some ways it might be even better than a Kiss Cruise. I hate to say it. If you, if you, I what mean, did it's I just debatable. Say? What did I just say? I would be more excited to see Gene solo than Kiss at this point. So, yeah, yeah you know, yeah, I don't want to think about that because now I'm like, God damn, yeah. I'm going to be on Kiss Cruise 93. <laughs> yeah. Gene will come out in a wheelchair. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'm now going to sing Sweet Pain for you from my wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um, because I'm in a sweet amount of pain I'm in right a now. Sweet amount of pain, exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah, it'll be interesting. So, through this conversation, I think before we spoke, I believe you were 100% out on this year's Kiss Cruise. Is there any thought of you that says, ah, maybe I got to make it? Maybe I got to make it? Well, I think what you said earlier about if they're guaranteeing a ticket. Uh -huh. at least the access to a ticket. Um, I think it makes it definitely, you know, the probability. Now I go to fitty fitty, you know, I automatically <laughs> go from zero to fitty fitty, uh -huh. you know, by, you know. Now they're probably not going to announce it beforehand. At least they haven't to this point. Um, if you don't go on the cruise, I guess it's the, the part they have to announce it beforehand. They can't announce it on the cruise because the final show is going to probably be weeks after that cruise. I was going to say, you would they, think. If they announced it on the cruise, are you going to feel disappointed that you're not there? But there's no way they could wait until the cruise to announce that. Yeah, no, no, no. But you would think that has to come relatively soon, though. If Doc said they're not going past 2022, right. we're already almost in March. Right, exactly. Exactly. And you would think if there's a final show, they want to give people the opportunity to plan their travel arrangements and things like that. Mm -hmm. You would think they're not going to do it. By, by the holidays although who knows it could be a new year's eve talk about a freaking new year's eve party the final kiss show ever on new year's eve that would be something else that ticket would be very just new year's eve in new york city is very expensive oh, to yeah. begin with oh, so yeah. now you mix the final show ever madison square garden i wonder if anybody's booked in the garden yet for that night hmm. 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 Maybe we gotta do a little research on <laughs> yeah, that one. i think so too maybe i'll have to call up Ticketmaster's site and see if there's anything in madison square garden new year's eve I'll check that very quickly. Let me see. That's December 12. Mm -hmm. Was Billy Joel playing his 850th concert there that <laughs> night? <laughs> Square Garden. Let's see what it says. Survey says nothing is coming up. I put exactly that date. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, as far as we know right now, the garden is open on New Year's Eve. As hmm. far as we know. Looking, I could actually go to the actual date on the on the MSG okay. site. So let me just go directly to their site and see what comes up. The thirty first. Take a drink. 
Oops, there are no events on 12 31 2022. Mm. Wait, Doc McGee, I see Doc McGee is typing. You know, like we see a little dot that. No, just kidding. <laughs> Message yeah. from Doc McGee yeah. coming yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. So, so let me ask you this if you choose not to go on the cruise, it sells out because I think it will sell out right away now that it's announced it's the last time they're performing on the boat. Mm. And in May, they say, all right, everybody who's on the cruise, you're getting first crack at tickets for the final show. Do you have disappointment that you, you're not booked on the cruise? Are you trying to bribe me to buy a ticket for you? <laughs> mm, the likelihood of that is pretty, pretty high, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You know, these old things I hadn't really thought about until you're asking me this thing, know. You, know, you know, so <laughs> you're like, damn, why did we say we'd do this podcast episode? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's if, if, the, if the end result is going to be joyous, mm -hmm. you know? So if you go on the pretend now, let's do it the other way around. You go on the cruise, you buy a ticket, you know, and you say, all right, I'm going to do that because I'm hoping to get tickets to the last show. And then they never make that offer. You're like, ah, I spent money for nothing. Right. Right. <laughs> and the chicks weren't even for free. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> you like that? That's good. Though. I think for a brief yeah, second. I, I saw you pause. Um, I'm like, come on. You know that well, reference. <laughs> well, I mean, the worst case scenario is if I have a great time on a cruise. I mean, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's not all that bad. Right. You know? Right. So, yeah. I will That's say this. Uh, that. Yeah, I, I will say this. I tend to believe that the show they'll do on the cruise will be a standard show this time around. Because I suppose so. What do you mean? There are no deep cuts or whatever, because I oh. just think there's, there's nothing. They don't have to worry about trying to sell next year's cruise and, and look at the deep cuts that we're always doing. Um, right. I think just the fact that it's the last time, I think they could play rock and roll all night, 17 times in a row. People will just be like, oh, man, I'm seeing them. on." Like, to me, if I'm going, I'm getting tickets to that second show indoors. And I know that that's literally the final show they're doing on a cruise after right, all the years right. of being there. Even that to me would probably be a bit emotional, you know, having done this for over 10 years and saying, damn, this is the last time I'm going to see them on a cruise like this in that theater like that. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I'm going to fucking go. I can't believe this. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know why we're even talking about it. I, I know, know you're going to go. I, I know, know you're going to go. I know. Unless, unless it's something, you know, on a personal, you know, right. level work or whatever that, the case may be. prevents then, me from going. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <sighs> decisions decisions my friend i think we have them both exactly exactly but anyway all right so you think you really do think though that this will be the last time they're performed there's no shenanigans with the word and on this you don't think they're going to be without makeup together on the boat um you really think this will be it right i do i do yeah, yeah, yeah. i tend to think so as well i mean you know people say well they said this before in 2001 or whatever i'm like yeah that was freaking 20 years ago yeah, that's 20 so years different. added yeah, so yeah, different you know yeah. they're, they're now in their mid-70s almost you know yeah. so very yeah. very different um and, and you so now the fact they're not going to be on the cruise performing it sounds like you also think like me that this probably really will be the last kiss show then later this year yeah i really do and, and i'm also going based on the fact of like what, what doc has said you know yeah. to you um, yeah. i mean look anything could change there could of be course. another whatever postponement whatever the pandemic hopefully you know we don't have any of that stuff That's again yeah. But, yeah. but um we don't know yeah you know well, I mean, think about it this way. It was supposed to be over by now. So we got an extension. So we did. be happy about that. Absolutely. hundred percent, hundred percent. So on that note, I guess I'll keep, be curious to see what the viewers and the listeners think, you know, do you think that kiss is going to appear as a band on the boat without makeup because of the way it was worded? Do you think it's possible that Paul brings soul station onto the boat or Gene brings mm. a solo band onto the boat? Um, are you interested in going on a kiss cruise? If there is no kiss on the boat going forward, um, knowing that this is the last cruise and the last time Kiss is performing on the boat, does that change your mind about going or not going, whatever? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. many questions, so many questions. I'd love to hear the thoughts of the viewers and the listeners. And um, mm -hmm. I guess I've got about 10 days to figure out if I'm in. See you guys on the boat. Uh <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, You've got 10 days. That's yeah, right. Yeah. And I yeah. think while we were talking, you probably went and said, Oh, damn, I'm not registered for the pre sale. Let me go do that right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where's my, where's my account? What's my password? Yeah, thing? exactly. So you should probably go do that as well. And um, I think that's a wrap then for this episode, my friend. All right. Sounds good. On that note, we started with one. 
We end with four. <laughs> we end with four. That's true. Yeah. Well, maybe these are just rabbit ears. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, quadruple Ringo. Yeah, yeah, quadruple Ringo. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching right. as always. See you guys later. See you later. All righty. There you have it. We'd like to have your thoughts and your opinions on what you think is going to happen after the KISS cruise. Will KISS continue performing in any capacity whatsoever? Also, do you think that some members of KISS will appear on the KISS cruise as we move forward? We'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button below. If you're listening to one of my podcasts, subscribe over there as well. Also, head on over to Facebook and follow my page, The Rock Experience with Mike Brunn, where each and every day we talk about all the rock and roll music that you love. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you all next time.